This is Mr. Evil Cheese, and I'm going to review Glenn in Riot Gear from The Walking Dead comic series 2 action figures by McFarlane Toys. So let's get to it, bitch. Yes, yeah, you sons of bitch and sons of bitch. Yeah. So here is Glenn in Riot Gear. Now I said in my pen review that that was probably my f the, I said in my Penny review that Penny was probably my favorite out of this series, and uh, I think she is. But this, whoa, <laughs> this Glenn here is probably my second favorite because he turned out way better than I thought he would. If you see one of my older videos, it was the actually the premiere, or it was actually the preview of Walking Dead TV series four, which has yet to come out. I. Uh, I had a picture of this Glenn, and I said that I didn't really like him too much. I thought he looked like Lex Luthor in a robot suit. I just didn't think it looked as much like Riot Gear as I would like. But now that I've got it in person, it really looks like Riot Gear. It looks really cool. It's really detailed. It's, it's yeah, it's really like, it's probably at almost a tie with Penny for my favorite out of this line. And that even beats the governor. As with every figure in this series, too, I have a problem with each of them. All four have something that bother me, and this one is no exception. And as you see a minute ago, that was another thing that I didn't even notice before, is that if you move his legs a little bit too much, they just pop right off. At least that side does, and try this one. Let's see, um, well, that one seems to be staying on. Doesn't really move all that much, but this one you move it, and it just pops off. No, no, it's staying on. What the hell, man? Make it, oh, there it goes. Yeah, you try to move it forward, it pops off. And uh, the other problem I had will, is with this accessory here. This little riot shield. Because it... I don't know what the hell they were thinking, but it was like nearly impossible to get that on there. I was... Before I took the hand off, I was really, really struggling to get him in there. You like... That just the hand just barely fits in that handle, and it's really tight. The handle doesn't come out from. It looks like it should come out, but it doesn't. And then this is also stuck in there, and that makes it super super hard to get this hand there. So I actually had to pop the hand off, stick the hand on, and then try to stick this peg through here and into the hand, which I cannot get it to go in there all the way. And it feels like it might break if I do it too hard. So. That really sucks that you can't really get his riot shield into his hand since it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool riot shield, so damn it, it sucks that it won't go in there right. Look at that shit. Damn it. Well, I'll get it in there in a minute. But that's the main problem that I had with this figure when I first got it was that mess. Another thing that's a little weird is the helmet because. This chin strap is just kind of shoved up in there. You have to stick the helmet on. Let me get this off there. See, it's just a separate, separate little piece. First, you got to put the helmet on like so, which is actually kind of difficult. Come on, son of a bitch. There we go. And then the chin strap is just this little thing, little piece of plastic, and you just kind of try to shove it up in there somehow. So it's just weird that it's not actually part of the helmet. Yeah. It's even hard to get in there. But still, the helmet's pretty cool. Well, yeah, and this pops off pretty easy, too. And then it's hard to get back on. What the hell? That's right. I really wish, I really wish they would have made these figures bigger, all of the Walking Dead figures. Because this, these little problems won't happen, I don't think, as much as if they were bigger. But anyway, I'm gonna go over accessories now. So I showed you the helmet. It's got the little flip-up visor that doesn't really want to stay on too well. Some little pegs go in there. Still, despite that not staying on too well, it's still a pretty cool helmet. Damn it! <laughs> flips up once you get it in there, right? It flips up like that. Why aren't you focusing? There you go. 
and you can see his face through it, which is cool. And I showed you a little, damn you! <laughs> showed you a little chin strap. Um, so yeah, that's the helmet. There's the back of the helmet. And then he also comes with the little billy club. It fits in his hand nicely. So you can just like spin it around however you want him to hold it. That's awesome. There's really not much to go over with the billy club. Just so it fits in his hand. And he comes with a pistol for each of his holsters. And there is another problem is that it's difficult, maybe impossible, to put the holsters in there. I mean, put the gun into the holsters and then snap this little strap on. Because I can't get it to go. It's like the gun actually blocks the hole a little bit. You can't get the pegs in. So that's lame. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. This one has probably the most problems out of them. And, uh, he's still my second favorite. And the, uh, last accessory would be... Oh, not the last accessory. But next to last accessory is the, uh, riot shield, which is really cool. It's got all this blood all over it. You can see through it pretty good. Good enough. Looks dirty, scuffed up. It's got all these little cracks and nicks in it and it's really awesome just like I said this is ridiculous ridiculous what they did here they should have made that handle removable and it mine is not removable it does not come out of there somebody else has come out comes out then good for you but mine is stuck in there and then like I said this peg does not want to go into the hand which sucks ah, damn it and uh, the last accessory is he comes with a gas can that he carries around in the comic. It's like in gas out of the cars and everything. I think he was uh, getting this because they were running out of power for the generator or something like that and he needed gas from the cars. So that's cool. I don't know how well that would fit in his hand. I guess I should try it. Yep, it fits in there. It works. Cool. Now I'm gonna try to get this shield back on, damn it. Oh well, screw the shield. I'll put it on later. But I guess I'll go over articulation. And uh, his head probably doesn't move around as much as it would without the helmet on. But it still moves around decent enough, I guess. That's pretty good. I'll take the helmet off though. Come on! Okay, there you see his head move around. It's weird seeing him bald. He was bald for such a short time in a comic. Well, maybe not that short of a time, but it just seemed like a short time. I didn't like him when he was bald. He should have just kept his hair. And it's coming from a bald guy. Yeah, he's got all right articulation in his arms, like especially at the elbows. The elbows move around nicely. But the shoulders are a little stiff. And they can't go up too far because of these shoulder pad things. They just kind of hit up here and then you can't get it up anymore. They can still spin it around pretty good. And at the waist, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like he moves at the waist. Uh, if he does, uh, no, I don't think he does. It doesn't look like he moves at the waist, but I can get it. Feels like it's going to break. Um... The legs, they bend at the knee, they spin at the knee, spin at the ankles, and they do that little thing. Kind of like the governor, it really goes far. And then the legs up here at the hips go forward a little bit. As you can see, they go back a little bit. And then this one pops off. <laughs> so that could be different for yours, I don't know. They don't really spin a whole lot. So that's about it for articulation. Oh, there's a wrist too. Almost forgot the wrist. It spins, goes like that. And articulation's a little limited when you can't get the frickin' hand in there. No, probably end up breaking this if I try too hard. It's kind of in there, but not all the way. It's, it's just hard to get in there. If somebody else knows how the hell to get that in there better, let me know, because I suppose you could actually break this handle off and 
do it that way, but I don't really want to do that. Or maybe you can even snip this little strap here. Just give it a snip, and then you can put the hand in through there without taking it off the arm and then moving it back. But there might be a good chance you'll break the hand at the, or break the wrist off there doing it that way also. So, yeah, this is a poor little design thing they did there. I don't know why they did it that way. Okay, that was so that was just beyond ridiculous. It probably took me about 10 minutes to try to get this back in there. And I actually got it in all the way with this hand snapped in there, which I took the hand off and still had trouble getting it snapped back on here. thought I was going to break it. And then I got it back on here without taking the hand off. And then I did what I said I might do, and I cut this down here. So I don't know if you want to do that. I don't recommend taking the hand off because it's hard to get off and you might break it. I think I just got lucky because it felt like it was going to break. So, I don't know, you handle that the way you want it. If you don't want to mess it up, then maybe just leave the shield off completely. Which kind of sucks. But, uh, I don't know. But yeah, this is still, besides all that, the sculpt in this is sweet as hell. Like, the head's just kind of like goofy because it's like, I don't know, it just looks funny. But, it does look like going from the cogs, but still, it's just, I don't know, it's fine, okay. The bald head and everything, and the pretty little pink lips. Uh, okay, what the hell? This damn helmet, man. Okay, I noticed another problem. If you want the visor all the way down, these little pegs don't want to be in while it's all the way down. They're fine when it's up like this, the pegs go in the holes. But once you bring it down all the way, they pop out. They're not in the holes right now. So, uh, so many frustrating things about this figure, even though I do like it. Uh, damn it. But enough about that. Look at the, uh, all the freaking nice detail in this thing. Like, look at them pants. They got all that texture in the pants. All these little, I don't even know what the straps were, the uh, shin guards and knee pads. It's awesome. Like the uh, body armor in the front there is pretty cool looking. Chest plate. Got these detailed shoulder pads. Shin, or what's that called? Wrist guards, I guess. It's cool. Pretty detailed boots. He's even got a little piece of armor to protect his junk. Maggie will be happy about that. One thing I like about the paint job on this is it's just not all one solid color of like black or something. It's like the clothes are actually a really, really dark gray, like the underneath clothes. Like they're just black, but like almost just dark gray. And then like all the armor is kind of like a really dark blue in some places like there is actually black. That's pretty sweet. The helmet's like blue with black smeared on it in a good way. It looks scuffed up. So, I don't know, I just think the uh, paint job and the sculpt on this is just awesome. One of the best sculpts out of this uh, whole comic series of figures lines. And the blood splatter is just awesome. It's all over his shoulder, splattered up on his helmet, all over his front of his body armor, all over the shield. Not a whole lot on the back, but there is some back there. That's just cool. So, overall, I do like this figure. I am happy that I purchased him. However, he f was very, very frustrating, so I don't know if I should tell you to buy him or not. I think you gotta, like, I don't know, figure out what what you like about it, if you really want it. I mean, he looks cool fighting off walkers with a shield. You can buy him, buy him, buy him. That's pretty awesome. But if you don't like the problems, like I said, with this, and if you don't like how his leg might pop off, the problems with his helmet, then uh, I don't know. You just have to decide if you want to deal with all that. Oh yeah, these little things don't even go in. I don't really care about that as much, but... But he's so damn cool looking. You're so damn cool looking. So yeah, uh, he's cool, but I don't know if you want him because of the problems. And uh, thanks for watching. It's Mr. Evil Cheese. Click on one of these pictures here and you can see the damn review for it. Isn't that amazing? Unless you're on a phone, sometimes it don't work on a phone. I'm sorry about that, but get to a computer and click it. Yeah. And subscribe and hate.